Okay, so um, at the stage when I've gone through the what, the why, the where, the who, okay, I have what I call like the first iteration of, of, a, of an intervention design, okay? It doesn't matter that I haven't resourced it yet. It's not important. But now I, what I need to do is I need to test the prototype. That doesn't mean I go and I, I implement it. You, you test the, what, you've, what your design uh, in the same way that I explained after. You need to test it with the different people that are going to affect the implementation, right? What they think of it, how they re react to it, uh, what problems they see. Um, you need to do it. So you need to sit and explain it to people who are representative of different groups, right? The groups that are going to be directly affected affected by your intervention because it's their problems you're trying the intervention is supposed to solve see what they think about it is it going to solve their problem or not how can it be made better what problems do they see that you may not have seen right and this is all before you push it up the hierarchical line then you also need to kind of speak to people who you think might be resistant yeah or might have something to lose or have something to gain by your intervention but are not the people who are di whose problems are going to be solved by it, and hear what they have to say as well. Yeah, authorities. What is the reception? What ideas? You're looking for ideas as well. You're not just checking. Okay, do people like my my ideas, my design, our design, etc. You're 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 checking. You're looking for ideas, feedback, feedback. Why? To improve what what you and your teams have done already, right? Because. People are wise, right? Not everybody, but people know their own situations. They know their own minds, right? And while they may not be able to give you technical advice on technical aspects of your program, that's not what you're looking for. You're looking for how your key fits the door feedback. And only people living in the context um, who are going to be affected in some way, negative or positive, by your intervention can give you that, right? You're looking for experience, right? You're looking for experience feedback, okay? You're looking to the degree that uh, this looks like it might solve my problem if I'm one of the people affected, yeah? Or if it generates a problem for somebody else because they're going to lose some of their income or livelihood, then I need to see what's going to happen there, what we can do. Um, or if I want the authorities on board, I need to see what their reaction is. If I don't know their reaction, better to know now that they don't want it than to learn three months down the line, right? So I need to do this kind of hypothetical test. I'm not going to do a, a, an implementation test because I don't have the approval yet. I'm going to do a hypothetical test, right? Of, hey, we're thinking about doing this and we're thinking about doing it this way. And you explain the how in detail, right? Um, sometimes, for some reason, uh, we act like it's a secret, right? What we're going to do. And then we don't get this valuable feedback that would help us in our design or help us in our engagement strategy. We act as like we're, we're doing some secret operation, right? That we don't want anybody to know about. And then we don't do this, this so important contrasting with the people who live in the place and who are going to be affected by it. It's fundamental. If you want to have less headaches and the best impact possible, you cannot do good design without doing this step. So it's like a hypothetical testing of my design with the people who are going to be affected by it. And to uh, omit this step is to really reduce your impact and increase your, your implementation difficulties um, from the start. So I highly recommend that you do this. Nobody's going, you can always say, look, this you, you explain to people, hey, we haven't got the approval for this. It's not sure yet. What we're doing is we're seeing what you think. And by virtue of including people and giving them the space and opportunity to give their feedback or give you suggestions for improvement or whatever, it's all useful because it's information, right? Some of it's knowledge and it will build your analysis, okay? And you can, if you detect a problem, you can make decisions about that problem. If you detect high pockets of resistance in a certain segment, you can do something about that, right? You can, you can, it, it's information, so you can act on information, right? If you don't know it, you can't act on it. So this is very important to do.
And then, uh, as we will say, this is something you will do once you've had the approval and you start the implementation, you will do regularly because you want to see, okay, one thing was the hypothetical testing. Hey, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it here. I'm going to do it there. I'm going to do it this way. And then is the actual reality as you implement and people experience it in reality. You need to be always gathering uh, feedback, right? Feedback is key to everything, to managing people, to managing programs, managing interventions, to practically everything in life. No, you need to get feedback and that helps to improve things because if you have the mindset of continual improvement for maximum impact, you won't stay with your initial design, right? You will constantly be adapting it and molding it according to the information you get back from the context and the people. Thank you.